Take away. 
bless our homes with your abiding presence, that husband and wives, parents and children, may love one another as you have loved us. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. John, if possible, can you proclaim the word? But Jesus told them, 
Because of the hardness of your hearts, he wrote you this commandment. But from the beginning of creation, God made the male and female. For this reason, a man shall meet his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God hath joined together, no human being must separate. In the house, the disciples again questioned Jesus about them. He said to them, Whoever divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery against her. And if she divorces her husband and marries another, she commits adultery. And people were bringing children to him that he might touch them. But the disciples rebuked them. When Jesus saw this, he became indignant and said to them, Let the children come to me. Do not prevent them. For the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Amen, I say to you, whoever does not accept the kingdom of God like a child will not enter it. Then he embraced them and blessed them placing his hands on them. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> It is not good for man to be alone. 
in the movie Castaway, the only items that he, Tom Hanks, as the main character, to collect are the packages that have been washed ashore following the plane crash. Taking stock of all these packages, he comes across a soccer ball who he names Wilson. For over four years, he talks to Wilson. And upon devising the right materials, he successfully leaves the deserted island on a raft, which he constructs, and he takes his only friend and companion, Wilson. One of the most touching scenes is when he awakes, following a fierce storm at sea, he finds Wilson, who has become detached from the raft and is drifting away. He tries desperately, but unsuccessfully, to see, save Wilson. And upon losing him at sea, he breaks down emotionally, for he lost his only friend and companion. A simple soccer ball, an inanimate object that made all the difference in his life. Even after he considered thoughts of suicide due to his situation and loneliness. It was out of love we learned that God, the first cause, the eternal one, has made all things. It has been said that God needed man, his last creation, made in his own image, to know him as he is known. In Holy Scripture, we find that God who created both man and woman in his image, made Adam and Eve, the allegorical first parents, to be compartners and friends. Found throughout music and poetry, the importance of companionship and friendship is paramount. To make each and every single one of us like believe complete, we all need, as many songs have been sung, we all need someone to love. Khalil Gibran, in his most famous book, The Prophet, is about a holy man who is going away from his village. And as the people gather around him, they start to ask him, questions about love and marriage and friendship. And when asked, what about friendship? The holy man says, your friends are your needs. How true. Even in a cloister, or monastic setting, there is still a need for friendship and companionship. It was the great writer and poet John Donne who wrote in 1623 that no man is an island, entire of itself. Every man is a piece of the continent, a part of the main. This phrase would go on to be used in Ernest Hemingway's book, For Whom the Bell Tolls. Today, in the first reading, we read of the creation of woman from man. 
And we realize that it was out of love that God called man and woman into existence. The blessed Apostle John, in his first letter to the church, stated that God is love. And the only reason that we can love one another is because God first loved us. When we look at the founder of our religion, Jesus Christ, Jesus represents the epitome of love as he portrayed in his short ministry. He said, love one another as I have loved you. On the sacrifice, on the table of the Lord, and upon the crosses that we look, we are also reminded where Jesus said there is no greater love than for a man to lay down his life for his friends. He also said, by this all men shall know you are my disciples, if you love one another. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, as the song goes, everybody needs somebody. Everybody needs someone to love, someone to have, and someone to love. May we all be directed through the Spirit of our Creator, God our Heavenly Father, to reach out in friendship and in love to one another, regardless of one's position. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the name of Jesus Christ be praised by all of us now and forevermore. Amen. Yet thank the Ophelanius of Christus.
may truly be accepted this day by God our Heavenly Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice with your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the benefit of the Holy Church. Amen. Let us pray. Eternal, Holy Spirit, by prayer and this holy sacrifice, strengthen us that we may by word and witness uphold the sanctity of married life and teach our children to be faithful members of your church. For you live and reign together with the Father and the Son, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Forever and ever. Praise 
worthy people encourage us to follow their heroic example, making us worthy of your grace and love through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We ask you, Lord, to graciously accept our offering and that of your whole family, and so order our days in your peace, that we may be saved from spiritual damnation and counted among the flock of your chosen people. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh God, we ask you to bless, to accept, and to confirm this offering, and make it pleasing unto yourself, so that it may be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit, and become for us the body and the blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. The day before suffering and death, in order to manifest his infinite love to his disciples and through them to all who would believe in him, to fill the hearts of his followers with the fire of his love, Draw them to himself, make them joyful, and save them. He instituted these holy mysteries, in which spiritually and bodily, in his entire being, he again lives among his people. At that all moment, so sacred for the whole human family, our Savior took bread into his holy and venerable hands, and having lifted his eyes to heaven to you, God, his heavenly Father, giving thanks to you, he blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which is given for you. Therefore, in remembrance of this Christ, your Son, our Lord, and his blessed passion, resurrection, and his glorious ascension, we, your servants and faithful people, offer to your divine majesty from your own gifts and presence a pure offering, a holy offering, an immaculate offering, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to regard these offerings with favor and joy and accept them as you receive the gifts of your just servant Abel, the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and that which your high priest of Isaac offered you a holy sacrifice in the host. We humbly ask you, Almighty God, to commit that this offering be brought by the hands of your holy angel to your high altar into the presence of your divine majesty. That we, who receive the most sacred body and blood of your Son from this altar, may be filled with every blessing and grace same Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember your servants who have gone before us with the Son of Faith and who now sleep in peace. To these souls, the Lord and all the rest of Christ, grant we pray in the place of refreshment, life, and peace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And grant us, your sinful servants, who hope in the greatness of your mercy, to part in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, and with all your saints who shed their blood for your name. Their hearts were always open to justice and mercy, and with lives patterned after their divine master, merited eternal joy. Number us in their company, Lord, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. Through Christ our Lord, our man, by whom you always create, sanctify, Revive, bless, and freely give us all these good things. Through him, with him, in him. All honor and glory are yours, Almighty Father. 
in the unity with the Holy Spirit. I ask you to come spiritually into my heart 
and heal my soul. I embrace you and unite myself with you. May I never be separated from you. Inflame my heart with the fire of your love, my Lord and Savior. Amen. We will take the bread of heaven, and we will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. May the body of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him, who takes away the sins of the world. Lord, I am not worthy to see you, but let me say the word and have the soul to you. We see the body of the Lord.
Behold, sons are a gift from the Lord. The fruit of the womb is a reward. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Merciful Father, from you every family in heaven and on earth is named. Hallowed our households as you have hallowed us with this Eucharist. Knit together in constant love, spouses joined in your name, and bless the children that they may grow in wisdom and grace. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, and our good God forever and ever. In the name of 